I'd like to welcome Dr. David Borenstein. Welcome, David. Thank you. Could you tell us when you first heard about LDN? Yes, I first heard about LDN approximately five years ago, um, actually from a patient who approached me who wanted uh, low-dose naltrexone to improve his immune system. At that time, I knew very little about it, and I was a little bit skeptical. Anytime something uh, is new, there's always going to be a little bit of resistance and skepticism. So what I did was I researched low-dose naltrexone. I found it to be an amazing uh, discovery, so I prescribed it to the patient. And what condition was that for? Well, for this particular patient, the patient wanted it primarily just to improve uh, his uh, immune system. Then I had more and more uh, patients come in for various different ailments. I had patients come in for multiple sclerosis and for irritable bowel and Crohn's disease. So I started getting more and more patients uh, requesting low-dose naltrexone, and I started prescribing it. And the good news is I got amazing feedback and amazing results. And they told their friends with the same conditions, and I... Uh, steadily, I had an increasing number of patients that I put on low-dose naltrexone. We then told their friends, and I then have a large, I currently have a large practice with patients uh, on low-dose naltrexone for various uh, ailments. And what would you say the success rate has been? Extremely high. The majority of my patients take low-dose naltrexone either for multiple sclerosis or for uh, inflammatory or irritable bowel disease. And I'd say the, the great majority of those patients have seen positive results from their low-dose naltrexone uh, treatment, either in halting the progression of their disease or completely, almost completely inducing remissions of their disease. And how long would you say it takes for LDN to work? I've had patients tell me that they've had results in a matter of a month and some up to five or even six months later. The time that low dose naltrexone seems to work is very variable. Mm -hmm. So I've had a very variable responses from a month to five to six months after starting treatment. What side effects would you say your patients have experienced? Mostly vivid dreams, uh, which seems to go away after a couple of weeks. In some patients, they do have gastrointestinal complaints. Some patients have told me, especially the multiple sclerosis patients, have told me that if their dose is too high, they have some uh, mild specificity, and we just uh, adjust the dose uh, accordingly. And some patients have nonspecific complaints. They just say they don't feel right on it. Um, so we tend to adjust the dose or change the way the low-dose naltrexone is, is, uh, is given. Sometimes we have to put them on a transdermal low-dose naltrexone to uh, reduce their side effects. And how long would you recommend somebody to continue taking LDN even if they didn't think it was working? Well, I would recommend a minimum, a minimum of six months before saying that it's a uh, that it's not working for them. Now, if it still doesn't work, we have to look for other issues. Sometimes I find my patients are not absorbing the low dose naltrexone, mm -hmm. and then sometimes I find that maybe we can change the way we're giving the low dose naltrexone. Many of my patients do have concurrent yeast overgrowth, so sometimes we have to treat the yeast overgrowth to uh, improve uh, their response. So if you look at other conditions that may be stopping the LDM from working, how many people would you say actually LDN doesn't work for? Well, again, for the majority of my patients, they do work, and mm -hmm. the results can be quite dramatic. In some patients, for example, in the patients who have multiple sclerosis, we know that the disease is not is not progressing. So sometimes we have to we have to decide: is it the low dose naltrexone, or is it just that the natural course of the disease? I like to think the low dose naltrexone is uh, halting the, the progression. But for the most part, uh, most of my patients do we, do either see no progression of their uh, disease or a dramatic improvement in their um, in the disease. And what about other prescribing doctors? Would you say the number of 
prescribing doctors is increasing? Oh, absolutely. I think it's definitely increasing as there's more and more awareness of uh, low-dose uh, naltrexone, but it's still only a small number of doctors who prescribe it. Do you think that some doctors are a bit uh, wary of prescribing a drug off-label? Oh, absolutely. There's definite resistance to prescribing something off-label or a medication that you have no experience in uh, in using. Don't forget, most drugs that we use we're comfortable with because we use the drugs during our medical training. Things like anything from anti-inflammatories, blood pressure medications, cholesterol medications, antibiotics. We, uh, pain medications, we've used this in a setting, in a hospital or clinic setting in our training. So we're very comfortable in using it. We know the response, we know the side effects. Low-dose naltrexone, however, uh, most physicians have no experience with. So there's always a little bit of a uh, hesitancy or reluctancy to use a medication that you have no experience with. I think it's important to improve the awareness of low-dose naltrexone because this particular treatment can definitely benefit many people and at a very reduced cost. Well, thank you very much for sharing your experience with us. My pleasure.